Now may this true body and true blood of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you in the one true faith into life everlasting. Go now in God's peace. Amen. We stand as we sing our post-communion canticle as printed for us on page 164 of our hymnals. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you have refreshed us through this salutary gift, and we implore you that of your mercy you would strengthen us through the same in faith towards you and in fervent love toward one another. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Our closing hymn is hymn 457, Jesus Christ is Risen Today. Uh, we remain standing as we sing this hymn and for the silent prayer following.
Good morning. It has been our pleasure to have served you in Christian worship this morning. As we dismiss, uh, we encourage you to take advantage of our Christian education opportunities uh, for our children, our youth, and our adults, both down at school and here in our fellowship hall. Uh, looking ahead to things happening this week, I hate to disappoint you kids, no school tomorrow. It is President's Day and the office will be closed. Uh, Tuesday, then, uh, we do have our Holy Communion service at Redbud Garden Place at 1.30 in the afternoon. And the Church Council will meet Tuesday evening at 7 in the school library. Uh, Thursday afternoon, 1 o'clock, is our Site Ministry Center time at Baldwin. Uh, Geography B will be at school Friday at 1 o'clock. We do wish you God's blessings on this day and upon your entire week as well.